FM, your style, your station. And fine, fine. It's like I'm filming myself as well. Oh, you're not filming me, are you? Final workout of the day, jumping jacks. Jumping here on the Drive Time Show on Epcot FM. If you've just tuned in and you've missed it, sorry, but I will be repeating it again at 5 pm tomorrow. I think I'm going to go with Epic Thursday. Mm -hmm. I think Epic Thursday was my all-time favourite show. Mm. As much as Workout Wednesday was a good laugh, like what I loved about Epic Thursday was just bringing in good tracks from films that everyone knows, um, getting more interaction with people and just generally feeling the vibes. And do you know what? Just the whole breakfast show itself and just presenting and giving everything I've got to just make everyone feel good in the morning because I love making people feel good. Hello, thank you for having me. Hello, thank you for being here. <laughs> so I asked Chloe a really difficult question and I'm just going to start off talking to you with that okay. highlight of FCOT FM in general and your show maybe. For my show in particular would be the music. Mm -hmm. There were some absolute bangers in that. And the highlight of FCOT FM is being a team. Like we've all got on so well. We've created something so amazing. It's been so lovely to work with all of you. Lauren from the 90s and Noughties Hour. And now I'm here with Amy Wolford from the Mid Morning Show. Hello, yes. Amy. Hello. Lovely to have you in the studio Thank today. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Now, your role was not only presenting the Mid Morning Show, it was also head of promotions. Yeah, so that role I had to basically uh, promote the radio stations on like so many different levels so I had to go out and hand out leaflets in um, Farnborough and Aldershot. We had to obviously just drum up as much interest as possible like we had people coming up to us at the stands. The Black Keys with Lonely Boy and before that we had Alessia Cara with here. Welcome to the finale drive time show on FCOT FM, the last ever show to, on the station of 2016 and I'm joined here with the big cheese, Mr Steve Barrett. Hello Steve. The, the big cheese. The big oh, daddy. Thank you for that introduction. Of FCOT FM. That was, that was now, you host the afternoon show, the sports show and Monday Night Blues and you manage the whole station so this is basically your baby and you are the big daddy. I, I do a few things. Well, it's ironic to me the big daddy because I'm quite a scrawny guy, so it just doesn't fit me at all. But Sorry. no, like, um, I have I, I've tried to put you know a lot of effort in this year, but everyone's put like lots of effort in, you know. And uh, shout out to uh, our program control, Sean, who I'm sure will be on soon, who, Ooh. as I've just been talking about, has like laid all the infrastructure and the foundations for it with the scheduling and the clocks and a whole load of other radio jargon that, uh, you know, I suppose uh, uh, comes across as quite uh, indistinguishable. But, um, but it's very important. Yeah, all, all that structure and, you know, base for people to come and be really creative and, you know, do just some really great individual content on their shows and really make uh, you know so the whole thing like make a house a home it's really about you know making uh, making the show your show uh, and you know people have done just great stuff and it's been a joy to work on and you know everyone uh, you know the team has just been so great everyone's chips and everyone's been selfless and helped out and uh, you know and yeah it's just been great I've just loved it Have you by Josh Williams between 7 and 8 sponsored by The Game Shop Older Shop visit our Facebook page FCOT FM that was the beautiful Ed Sheeran with I See Fire there on FCOT FM. You are listening to the finale show, which is taking place of my drive time show, 4 till 6 on FCOT FM. After this, at 6 o'clock, that's it. We go dead. And I'm speaking to everyone that's been involved with FCOT FM this year. I have spoken to quite a few people already. And next up, I have Mr. Jamie Hooks, head of the session show. Hello, Jamie. Hello, Ellie. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? you I'm very much? well. Totes the most. Totes the most. Um, so your band actually performed on your session show last night because it was your session show finale last night. How did that go? Uh, that 
I enjoyed that so much. Yeah. I was proper nervous because it's like the most nervous I've ever been really? on the show because obviously it's like my band, I want it to be good and stuff, but no, it was really good. Was it strange it. being on the other side of the table yeah, being interviewed? Yeah, 100%, yeah. And how has it been? Because you obviously did Session Show last year as well, but this year you took the reins and you've made it your own, so you've been in complete control of it this year. How has that been? Because obviously there's loads of technical things as well because obviously it's, it's live music, so so many things could go wrong. And obviously you're interviewing loads of different bands and stuff afterwards. Like, how has that been for you? Uh, honestly, the team I had made it so easy for me. Obviously, I had the co-host Sean Nelson on the Ed camera here. Yeah. Um, Aidan was the tech op. We had Matt Hill and the guys down at the music department, Alan Horner, they're all really, really good. Mm. So I didn't really have to do that much in terms of the technical side. It was all the guys around me which made it really good. And you chose the music as well for the show, is that I correct? Yeah. So it's pretty much your personal playlist, bands you like, and live music and you're interviewing them and so I'm taking it that you've enjoyed the experience <laughs> yeah, it's like, and it's been fun. It's just, it's basically just like listening, like shuffling my phone and having like all the songs that I like, so that's so all awesome. the clean ones. <laughs> yeah, obviously, it's, it's just very good. ...to FCOT FM this year, everyone on the FCOT FM management team. Next up is Mr Aidan Redman, voice of the station, helper of Session Show and just general lovely man. Hello Aidan. Hello. Hope you enjoyed that intro. Oh, that's a very nice intro, I must like. Thank you very much. Now, it's very strange hearing your voice every few minutes on the radio. Is that strange for you? FCOT FM. Um, yeah, it's very strange. I think after the first week or so, you kind of have to drown it out or every three <laughs> minutes hearing yourself can get a bit tiresome. Yeah. Um, but no, it's good. It's good fun. And you've been helping out with the session show every Tuesday and Thursday. How's that been? Because that can be quite technically tricky sometimes. It's been it's been a bit of a challenge. Some weeks have been easier than others, but actually I have to say it's been one of my favourite parts of FCOT FM. Really? Just the, watching some of the, the talented bands and artists we've had come through um, and seeing them perform in the studio because obviously I get to go down there mm. and then run all the way back here um, just to see all that has been yeah great fun and before FCOT FM went live you were in charge of making the website you were head of all the online content how did that go for you because you had you also had to jump a lot of hurdles but it's turned out beautiful in the end thank you uh, yeah it's uh, <laughs> challenging uh, <laughs> making a website it takes a long time yeah. um, so just just kind of getting on board with that and making it but I think the you know it's worked out really well and it, it's easy for everyone to use and shows what we need so that's great as long as it works I'm happy it means I've done my job so exactly. it's got everything on there as well so if you it's not too late to check out if you want to know anything else about the presenters that you are hearing right now anyone behind the scenes you might not have heard Aidan's voice before and you want to see what he looks like then go on the website um, now everyone has also been saying their favourite moments of Afcot FM you, you can say something cheesy or you can say something funny e.g. was it you that fell off a chair in the studio well that was going to be something that's going to be brought up isn't it yeah um, it had to be brought up at some point I believe the video has surfaced on, on our website <laughs> um, yeah so a good it, probably not the best moment for me but a funny moment for everyone else was yeah in the middle of a session show don't try and put a different knee on two different chairs that slide away from each other is the, the key there no, some, some you win some you lose and you learn a lesson from that Indeed, it's all about learning so life, like, life lessons yeah. <laughs> Message us at FCOT FM. Welcome back. You're listening to the finale show on FCOT FM with me, Ellie Cook, and just about every single person on the FCOT FM management team. You just heard the Backstreet Boys with As Long As You Love Me, and before that, we had Sean Mendes with Stitches. And now I am joined with head of news and presenter of the Great Geek Emporium, Joshua Williams. Hello. Hello. And what your voice is just so lovely. Yeah, thank you. Big, booming, beautiful. Hello. So, you have just done your last ever news bulletin. How yep. has it been for you? Because it's pretty hard reading off a script. I kind of just randomly say things. Yeah. And you have to sit in there and do a news bulletin all day, every day. Yeah. Uh, I literally have to... I literally I get in about half six. I have to write a script for... To read in about 15, 15 minutes or so, all, all off screen. So that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> but, and it's very strange you being in this studio because we have Studio One, which is where we're in right now, where mm -hmm. we do all of our shows. And then Studio Two is your special studio, the newsroom. Yep, we got about an inch of glass between the two. So I can barely hear you if you're not on mic. <laughs> that's very true, yes. But my voice is quite loud. Mm -hmm. And whenever I come into my show, you leave. Yep. We, this is like the first time we've ever talked on your so show. It's very nice to talk to you. So before we talk about the news, I want to talk a little bit about the Greek, Great Geek Emporium because you did that last year as well. Yep. And that is something close to your heart and we do that every Wednesday. Oh, no, yeah, absolutely, yeah. That's... How, how has that been, recording that? Oh, it's been an absolute labour of love. I mean, I just, I, um, I started it last year just as, you know, fun hobby show mm. and coming back this year, like, we had 
a few requests saying he's Geek Emporium coming back. So I literally, I went up myself and went, oh, I've got to do a second series, haven't I? <laughs> so now I thought I'd go, I thought I'd go bigger, louder. I actually got some, I actually, um, we lost Aiden, our, our, ho- our co-host from last year. So we brought in Sid and Shaz. We actually... FGOT FM, your style, your station. That was, of course, Ricky Martin with Live in La Vida Loca. I won't lie, I've got a bit of a head rush from headbanging to that song. And before that, we had Maroon 5 with This Summer's Gotta Hurt. Next, ta- next time, next up, we have Matthew Hill. Hello, Matthew. What up, Ellie? Hey, Matt is the official techie for FCOT FM, and he also presents the Metal Hour every Wednesday from 8 till 9. Obviously, not anymore, because this I is know. it. Yeah, and we had our, I had my last show last we- uh, the Wednesday just gone, and I... Honestly, I didn't want it to end. Really? I quite enjoyed finding a way and <laughs> trying uh, battling over which songs am I going to play. It's like I really want to play this one, but mm. it doesn't fit. What about this one? You know? Yeah. Well, because that, obviously that's very much your taste of music, and sometimes we play songs that like are really maybe mainstream, and you'll, you'll be sat in here with me, and you just go, "I can't do this." <laughs> so metal hour is the hour that you get to go. This is what I listen to. Yeah. Well. I- I don't strictly listen to metal. I mean, metal's my first love. But mm-hmm. then again, I also have my, I've got big special space in my heart for hip hop and classical. Mm-hmm. Uh, big fan of classical. Um, but I did. There was one track featuring a metal artist, of, uh, but it's a very heavy hip hop track. But I, w- I wanted to kind of sneak it in there. But then I was like, oh, do I? Don't I? You know? But yeah. yeah. Did you? No, I didn't. Oh, unfortunately. That's yeah. a shame. But um, that's a very wide, eclectic mix of music there that you're into. And so not only did you host that show, but you're also the official techie here. So you helped with OBs and any little problems we had in the studio. What's what's it been like working with the FQ FM team on the build up to the station and then since we've gone live? Honestly, I have nothing but good things to say about everybody. Everybody was so well prepared. Presenters knew what they were doing. They came in prepared with their shows. They knew how to operate the equipment, Mm. um, which has made my my life, my job so much easier. So I've got mad mad respect and thanks to everybody involved, yourself included. Uh, But um, two people in particular that really helped get things going was Steve, our station manager, mad Mm. props to him. And of course, but this uh, for me, the the unsung hero has to be Sean Nelson. I completely agree. Because yeah. that man, he, he's a genius, and he was just on it mm. all the time. And yeah, it was just a pleasure to work with him because he made me look good. <laughs> so thank you very much, bro. That's thank you. Oh, that's lovely, and it is true. And we'll be speaking to Sean later, and we can we can truly thank him then, and he can tell us how it's been for him. Because I'm sure yeah. that it's been very stressful. So he obviously helped. Broadcasting live from Pharma College of Technology, FCOD FM. That was the Foo Fighters with Best of You, which is very relevant to the next guest that I have on the show. He's a bit alternative and rock and roll. We have Mr. Sean Nelson, program controller, Gold Hour host and Sessions co-host. Hello, Sean Nelson. Hello. Thank you very much for joining us on the finale show today. No worries. And for filming everything as well. Steve has taken the ropes. Hopefully the quality won't go down by a lot. <laughs> um, so you have been involved in so much of the station. Quite a few people that I have talked to today have been singing your praises because everything has gone so smoothly. Obviously, you've scheduled everything into the station and everything it's just it's pretty much gone off without a hitch considering how much could have gone wrong down to your amazing pre-planning months and months of work and you've been here all day every day with Steve to make sure that everything went perfectly so I, it would be very hard to ask you your favourite moment but I'm going to ask yeah. you anyway even though I'm sure there's been many loads of weird things have happened loads of silly things heartwarming <laughs> things what for you has been something you're going to take away from the experience? It's um, not a particular moment mm-hmm. unfortunately okay. um, because there are several but because I'm behind the scenes most of the time and you don't really hear me apart from Sessions and Gold. Mm. Um, it's it's so nice to have people come in preparing for their shows, having a real buzz amongst the whole station, and then them coming away after their show going, oh, I really enjoyed that and like mm. thanks so much for you know either helping or like when they said, can I have this song, you know, change it over. That's and, it, um, yeah. Yeah, it's essentially just having that... Um, a great team to work with and uh, appreciate one another. I think. And it's great to have you here because, as I say, and as we said, you have always, you're always here. So I've been in the studio and I've panicked and gone, oh God, what's that? So we'll just run into the <laughs> office and be like, Sean, help me. And then you'll come in and go, oh, it's just this little thing. Click one button and yeah, you're sorted. It's yeah, but you, you've just, you've been here from start to finish, and you have been. I said I called Steve the daddy of the station, but I guess you're both, you're both sort of 
like a, t- a, part, a parenting team, I guess, of the station. Um, obviously, like lots of months um, have gone into planning for the station. What, what for you has maybe been the hardest thing you've had to do? Uh, the hardest thing I've probably had to do is kind of set up equipment that we haven't been really familiar with. So like live OBs are something that we've never really tackled before. Mm. So we've had to go through like testing and things like that. And then, you know, little hiccups in the studio, like microphones not working or monitors not working. It's it's something that you have to kind of kind of kick in straight away mm. just so that things do run smoothly from then on because mm. you don't want it to affect presenters and they don't want to have to worry about it. You know, yeah. they just want to come in, do their show, you know, and, and have a great time because that's what it's about at the end of the day. And that's why it's so great to have you here. And another thing you've been majorly involved with as well is the session show you were involved with that last year and you have been co-hosting it with Jamie this year obviously you took the ropes last night because this band are playing yeah um how has that been for you because obviously that's something that you really enjoyed doing last year how has it been for you this year it's, it's been great this year to have like a wide variety of acts on and to kind of have more kind of variety of music as well um to kind of delve into the slightly heavier end of things mm. if you know people are tuning in for that but also, yeah, to, to top it off yesterday with, with Jamie's band, Delayed Departure, um, was, was something special. And not only just because of I took the ropes on it, it was nice to kind of do that, mm. but it was also, um, for me, it was kind of a thank you to Jamie for having me on his show and being a co-host for him. So. And who, is there anyone you want to thank? Not only here, obviously you must have support from people here that are on the management team, but anyone at home as well, family, friends, anyone that's been really supporting you, has been tuning in, has been talking to us on social media, who is it that you really want to thank? So yeah, as you said, apart from the team and Steve, our, our station manager for, you know, being on top of things, it kind of goes out to a whole load of people. It's like coming home after long days, you know, finishing at nine, you know, getting home at like half nine mm-hmm. to, to have the family say like, oh, I really enjoyed that show and things like that. And not only that, but to get like friends messaging you to say like, tuning in, really enjoyed this show. Great job tonight. You know, it's just lovely to, to come back to such to such great feedback. And it is lovely because we've all, we've all had so much support at home and then we're all just supporting each other and it's just a really positive environment, isn't it? Yeah. It sounds cheesy and it sounds like you're saying it for the sake of it, but it's, it's true, <laughs> it's isn't it? It's genuinely a great atmosphere. And it is, it's been lovely. And thank you very much, Sean, for making everything go so smoothly, for entertaining us the gold hour, from helping Jamie with this, uh, the session show and for just making sure everything takes along smoothly. Thank you very much. Thank you and goodbye. Bye. Sob, sob. Next up, we've got Queen with I Want to Break Free. Looking for a place to study with exceptional teaching and learning facilities? Then Farber College of Technology. FM, your style, your station. And that was it. That is all the highlights of FM 2016. Bye from all of us and the team. Bye! Bye. <laughs> we have now picked one last song to play on FCOT FM. This is Daft Punk, One More Time. Thank you so much for getting involved with the station this year. We've had such a great time. I hope you enjoy the last song and we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye! Bye. 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 Bye.